So guys, State of Decay 3 is apparently set to release in 2027, and that's according to a current Undead Labs employee who has on their profile the year the game is set to come out. Nora Shamrak has on her resume the year 2027, and she is not a nobody. She's the lighting lead for Undead Labs, and this has set a lot of people kind of in a frenzy last week, and just take a look, guys, at all the articles of people who ran away with this news. But don't worry, I'm actually here to tell you I'm pretty sure this is fake news and that's actually for quite a few reasons and i'm going to give you guys what i think is the likely release date for state of decay 3 in this video now some of the reasons that this 2027 thing doesn't make sense one this game actually got announced with that reveal trailer in 2020 and reports actually have surfaced last year in 2022 that they were actually already in planning phases for this game even before that trailer in 2020 actually way before the trailer according to sources back in late 2018 to be more specific so that would mean that being generous maybe they would have started working on state of decay 3 in 2019 and the fact that it wouldn't release to 2027 i mean that's pretty insane and almost unheard of unless you're like rockstar or bethesda the second reason i think this is pretty nuts is we literally just heard a few months ago that we are set to see deep gameplay dives of state of decay 3 within the next what would be now 15 months because when he originally said this he said an 18 month window so really that's only just a little over a year at most this was talked about by head of xbox game studios matt booty recently heck not only that guys to dispel this 2027 rumor even further he went on to mention looking ahead to 2025 we've seen builds of state of decay 3 and as we look ahead i'm cautiously optimistic we'll be able to show and deliver a gameplay reveal now we typically don't see gameplay reveals guys if we're like three to four years out and they have no plan to release the game anytime soon, if that makes any sense. And finally, it's been somewhat confirmed by Xbox insiders that they are not hearing this 2027 date, and that's just nonsense. Though I'll admit, guys, I don't have any inside sources, sort of. But if you guys have watched my content over the years, you know nobody does better detective work on this game than me. But I will say this. For those wondering why this game is actually taking as long as it is since they debuted a trailer back in 2020, there's actually a lot of reasons reasons for this. One, they are really, really expanding on multiplayer quite a bit. I've talked in depth about this like nuts. Evidence after evidence I've showcased, we are not going to be seeing kind of like that current half-baked multiplayer that we have now. This is going to get a lot more dynamic. Heck, even in a current job listing literally posted at the time of this video, Undead Labs is searching for a senior gameplay engineer, and it has at the very top of the responsibilities addressing core loop moments moment to moment gameplay including a networked multiplayer development and then further down the same job listing under the preferred qualifications it says experience with multiplayer game development now what i actually think is going on guys is we have two set of teams at undead labs one working on the core game that we are used to playing today in state of k1 and 2 that kind of like sandbox npc community driven game and the second team what i think they're working on is set to be like this mysterious but in-depth multi player and i say mysterious because we don't know anything other than it's just going to be a more expansive multiplayer i won't bore you any more guys with any more on the multiplayer stuff but just check out my latest video i really break it down in full not only that but developers recently stressed on how undead labs has not only grown into a much bigger team from their humble beginnings as an indie studio but now into a full-fledged triple a studio and how that has affected people's expectations take a listen to a recent quote from jeffrey card a game designer on State of the K3. Yeah, so Coalition is, is, is drawing comparisons between the gap, you know, for, for, with the gap between State of the K1 and 2. And I mean, I would honestly, I would expect our gap to be a little bit bigger because we are taking an even bigger sort of step up in sort of the, 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 the scale of project that it is, the number of people working on that, that kind of thing. Things go slow the bigger you go. Um, you know, State of the K1 was a very small, scrappy team, State of the K2 was a mid sized team, you know, and, and so like as we keep sort of escalating our ambitions, Things take a while, and it's and it's hard to sort of learn how to, uh, you know, how, how to handle each each new scale of of thing that you do, uh, makes you think 
about like you have to think about your culture your studio culture in a totally different way and you have to make decisions in different ways and it can be you know it's, it's just a challenge to each new project it's not just like oh we'll just do the same thing you did last time only you know slightly better like people actually get disappointed if that's what you do you know the people expect a certain amount of um sort of like uh, escalation from uh from a game series especially when you're spanning generations of hardware and so it's it, it's it's a challenge and you know i think I think we probably would be happier if, if we'd managed to do this faster too, but but we haven't. Because yeah, I mean the last the last thing we want is to spend forever, you know, uh, working on a game and, and not having you see it. My favorite thing has always been, you know, the, the fast turnaround we always had in updates to State of Decay two, where I could just we could just turn something around really quickly, and uh, you know, and I could you know I got to have like feedback for the stuff that I was creating really fast. That was a very emotionally satisfying experience. I would love to get back to that scenario. So. I'm not just we're not just sitting there holding back for fun you know we, we we really you know we're we're eager to get to the point where we can share this stuff with you so as you can see this is just a bigger project than this team has ever undertaken and they've never handled the game of this scale and ambition it's not even just the multiplayer aspects that are getting huge and expansive but there's evidence of single player stuff we've never really seen from a type of game like this like when i uncovered the relationship system now i did uncover that what is a few years ago now it's possible they didn't keep up with it but from all accounts guys they are really trying to make is the absolute very best post-apocalyptic game we have ever seen. It is really that ambitious, backed by Microsoft with AAA quality. So I think we just now have to be patient. Now, finally, I want to touch on when I do think this game's actually coming. From what I'm hearing, the goal seems to be that at the very least, we're potentially going to see a gameplay reveal at the next Xbox showcase. So that would mean an updated trailer almost four plus years later from that reveal trailer in 20. 2020. And that does actually fall in line with Matt Booty and his 18 month window. At that point, I would actually expect the trailer to potentially give us an idea for the actual release date. At least that's the hope. And it's not just this updated gameplay trailer that gives us no release date in sight still. So we'll see. Now, when the release date for this actual game, though, my guess, and I feel like this is a pretty educated guess, is more than likely 2025, like Matt Booty had mentioned before. So ultimately, I think we see that gameplay play reveal in the next summer 2024 and a release date 2025 at some point maybe in the beginning of 2025 at least that's my ultimate guess and i feel like it's a pretty educated guess so folks we are absolutely still a long ways to go but i recently did uncover something that i talked about in this video and i think this is massive guys so make sure you guys check out that video on the screen